have to restart it. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, another English class here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and in this hour, we're going to be practicing our speaking. And uh, this class, what we do is we look at some pictures, and we practice talking about them, describing them, what's happening, uh, describing the action, the colors, perhaps the emotions. Uh, maybe you know a little bit about what's happening in the picture, so we talk about that. So it's just one way to practice uh, your English. And uh, this is a skill that actually is also tested on some um, English tests. So sometimes they give you a picture and you talk about what's happening and what the people are doing or something. So um, it's one way to uh, practice your English. So hi, guys. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Salvatore. How are you? <clears throat> Hi Lisa, I'm Hi. doing well, thank you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Welcome. And Patricia, how are you? Hello Lisa, how are you? I'm good. You Is good? that your dog? Yes, my dog. <laughs> nice. Is it a male or female? It's a female and it's mm. barking right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. All right, Elegic, how are you doing? Hello Lisa, hello everybody. Everything is okay. Everything is under control. Okay, good. Uh, but, are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel better. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let me just continue to check with everybody. Hi, Hamid. Hi. How are you? I am fine. Maybe your lessons uh, give a medicine effect uh, to Legic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> all right, I can heal you all. Yes, I can't heal myself. My voice is still not back to normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially your voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. My voice. Also, my, my son know you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay, Arina, how are you? I'm good, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I didn't know where are you calling from. I'm from Russia. Well, I'm currently in the U.S. Really? Uh, yeah. Where Where in the U.S. do you live? In Texas. Texas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. uh, what part of Texas? Well, I don't know if you know it's small town Abilene. I have heard of that. Yeah. It's two hours from um, Dallas. I'm in Texas, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yep. and what are you doing in Texas? I am. Uh, I'm going to Abilene Christian University. Okay. Nice. Yep. <laughs> how long? How long have you been in Texas? For five years. Oh wow. Okay. So you're getting used to Texas then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. So, um, well, we can go ahead and get started, and if some other people join us, that's fine, and if not, we're good. Okay, so like I said, what we're going to practice doing today is looking at a bunch of different types of pictures. Now, when we look at pictures, of course, we might have um, some highlights, like, not highlights, captions, and so like as you see, this is coming up here, you can read it, which that's okay, we can read a little bit sometimes. But the idea is for the speaking is just to give you an opportunity to see how you would describe this. So um, in your native language, you probably have a lot of words that you could use to describe something and uh, say a lot about it. And But this is a challenge in English because sometimes we don't actually use these words necessarily in everyday conversation or when we're reading. So it's a little bit of a different uh, skill. And it kind of challenges you to see what you can and what you can't say. So if there's something that you want to say, but you're not sure how to say it, that's where I come in. So I can help you <laughs> do that. And um, also, when you're talking, I may correct you a little bit. I might write it um, in the Verbling chat here. If you say something, I might write uh, the, a different way of saying it in the chat. Um, hi, Asma. Welcome. <clears throat> Hi teacher, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Did you take yeah. your apple cider vinegar and honey 
drink. <laughs> yes, also right now I prepared. Oh, good. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to also maybe skip over some pictures if I think there's not as much uh, to describe. But let's get started um, and see if anybody could describe this picture here. Why don't we start with you, uh, Salvatore? And you don't have to be right. You know, it doesn't matter if you're wrong. You can just describe what you see, what you think it might be. You can describe the colors, the shapes, the textures, anything you want about the picture. So, Salvatore, what are some things you would describe about this particular picture here? Okay, I try to. Yeah, try. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a kind I, of a I wild can, one. <laughs> I can see, I can see in the in this picture some plants, mm -hmm. and um, maybe uh, there is also uh, the things that you can find. Maybe you can find in inside the sea. I think uh, there are uh, many colors: uh, green. Uh, blue, white, uh, uh, for these uh, shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if uh, the, these things uh, uh, you can find inside the sea. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe it can be uh, a kind of, uh, of rock uh, uh, or where you can find uh, on the wall, uh, maybe, mm. uh, in a particular area uh, where uh, there is uh, a lot uh, of uh, sun or hot, I mm -hmm. think. Heat, yeah, a lot uh, of heat. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe these colors, uh, probably uh, the water uh, uh, influences the color for uh, these shapes. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody else have anything to add? So I'm going to give each person a turn to describe the picture as much as they can. And then if anybody else wants to add a little bit, something that you think, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Hamid, did you want to add something? Yes. Uh, in my opinion, if uh, these rocks are not uh, big, uh, if they are small, we can put uh, some aquarium, so it can be good uh, accessories for the aquarium. For the aquarium. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. in the home, not uh, for the, um, like, museum aquarium. Mm -hmm. Just home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Michelle. So, um, I was thinking that maybe you were thinking, Salvatore, maybe they're like um, seashells, some kind of shells that are in the ocean, and that's certainly what it looks like, even kind of like re reminiscent, you can say, kind of reminds you of maybe coral or something. But, in fact, these are mushrooms or, you know, fungi. And it's the, the thing about looking at pictures sometimes is that it's you because of the angle of the picture, how the, the photographer took the picture, Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly what it is, but these are pretty amazing mushrooms. So I'm imagining, mushrooms. It's, yeah, mushrooms in some kind of a forest, you know. And so that's why we see the the plant, like you said, we have some plant hair, some uh, leaves of a plant. We see some other kinds of things that have fallen off of a tree, probably something like that. So it's pretty amazing, though, the colors, like you said, and. I think um, I don't, I don't know much more to add. Just that they're mushrooms and they have this shape and they're different layers of mushrooms, probably on some kind of log in a forest or something like that. So yeah, very colorful. Uh, is a uh, teacher uh, mm -hmm. is no this mushroom uh, is this are these uh, mushroom uh, not good uh, to eat. Well, when I when I scroll over it, it says these are called turkey tail mushrooms. Oops, <laughs> I don't know how to get the information back. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Turkey tail mushrooms. Oh darn. Um, and they said they're used in uh, Chinese medicine for healing properties. So it looks like maybe you can use them uh, usually for mushrooms. For Chinese medicine, maybe you make a tea 
out of them. And this comes from Canada, British British Columbia, Canada. So okay, yeah, looks uh, similar okay. to. Uh, I haven't seen these in Washington, but. Uh, very, you know, uh, Washington is just below British Columbia, where I live, Washington State, and uh, this looks like a forest there. So, you know, really green. We have lots of trees here, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, let's Thank go. You. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Zinyu, hi. How are you? Zinyu. Hi, teacher. How are you? Welcome. Uh, Zinyu. Um, Good. Do you want to uh, describe this picture? What do you see in this picture? Mm. This picture is uh, uh, splendid. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This picture is uh, about uh, the big mountain. Yeah, lots of big mountains there. <laughs> And the bottom of the mountain, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of buildings. Yeah. In the back of the picture, uh, there are some snow on the mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, snow on the mountains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in front of the picture, there is uh, some coins. Oh, maybe it's uh, wheat. Oh, yeah, the plants growing in the front here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything else? The Mm. The view, the view is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. So, uh, let's see. So, Patricia, you were thinking to bet, and yes, if I click on the caption here, it says that is Tixe uh, Gompa Gompa. A Tibetan Buddhist monastery known for its resemblance to Lhasa's Potala Palace. It sits at 11,800 feet in the northern Himalayan region of Ladakh in India. So it is a Tibetan Buddhist monastery, but it's actually in the country of India. So does anybody have anything else you might add to describing this picture? In my observation, uh, the white things uh, looks like in the uh, downside, not upside. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks like a cemetery. Like a cemetery, yeah. Yeah. Could be. Yes. And uh, there are some people maybe in the uh, small this ups uh, downside hill. Mm -hmm. The red, white, and uh, yellow things. Yeah. Yeah, that's what a monastery is. Does everybody know what a monastery is? Who lives at the monastery? Yes, I think monastery. Top okay. Or... Yeah. Sorry? No, go ahead, uh, uh, Amit. No problem. Go ahead. I think uh, maybe some pope or other some uh, Christian religious people live. Well, this is a Buddhist uh, a Buddhist monastery. So Buddhist monks, so people who are trained to be monks, they're praying, they're you know living their life, they're studying uh, the re Buddhist religion. So yeah, so I think all the things that you said are great, and I'm going to just uh, tell you guys how uh, some other words you can use to describe. So when you're talking at a pic about a picture, there's the foreground and the background. So the foreground would be this part up here that you see in the front, like in terms of perspective, what's in front, what's behind it, you know, what's farthest away. So when you talk about a picture, you could say in the foreground or in the front, and then you could say like in the middle of the picture, or you could say in the background, you know, the farthest there. So like those mountains that have snow, those are in the, the background. That's the farthest place that you can 
see in the picture, and then in the foreground is where we see like maybe like you said, wheat is growing or some kind of plants are growing, and then behind that would be the monastery where you have some of the buildings on a hill, and uh, the only other thing you could say like this is a very flat kind of a valley where the monastery is, but then of course we see that very high or tall mountains, and in the foreground like the big the first mountains you see are just dirt. And then the, the mountains you see behind those are much taller, and they are um, snow-capped, you could say, or they have snow on them. Okay? That's how we talk about the pictures. And then, of course, right or left, you could say on the right side of the picture or the left side of the picture, that type of thing in terms of direction. <laughs> okay, what's happening in this picture, Patricia? What could you say about this picture? I can see in this picture. This is a um, is a rainforest, mm -hmm. and there is a monkey hanging in in a branch. Uh huh. Um, in the background, I can see a lot of trees. I think maybe it's uh, the jungle or a rainforest, something like this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I, I think I think that uh, the monkey is uh, traveling. <laughs> traveling? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So when I open up the caption, it says a maple tree. So that's the name of this type of tree. A maple tree provides a perfect swing, and that's what you're talking about, um, Legic. He's traveling, or he's what monkeys do is they swing from branch. To branch, and they say it's a, for a playful Barbary macaque. So it's some kind of a monkey uh, primate, but it's called a macaque, and it, apparently it's in Morocco, in the mountains of Morocco. There, so this is where some of these monkeys live in an area that is uh, a threatened forest area. So yeah, he's swinging from you can say branch to branch. He's playing. He's traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a maple tree. I don't know. I don't think it looks so much like a rainforest to me. Usually, a rainforest is much uh, what we call denser, more lots more trees together. But this is a type of forest. Okay, uh, to add here. All right. Oh, beautiful. Okay, Leszek, what's going on in this picture? Let's your microphone. There you go. Yeah, I'm ready. I can <laughs> see in this picture beautiful view. Uh, four, four men with uh, riding on, on horses. Uh -huh. uh, probably uh, they are staying, resting. Maybe just they try um, recognize some interesting, some interesting. Uh, during the trip, mm. uh, but this is not a photo. I think that there is a paint. Yeah, it looks like a painting. <laughs> yeah, look like yeah. a painting. Yeah, but yeah it maybe. does look a lot like a painting, but it's a photo. It's a photo. Yeah. Okay, maybe my quality network is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the colors uh, are so amazing. You know, the yeah, color yeah. of the water. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The water is uh, maybe river, maybe maybe some kind of uh, how to say. Uh, like mm -hmm. a lake. Lake, yeah, lake. Uh, mm -hmm. On the second, on the second. Oh my gosh. Uh, far away, we can see snow uh, on the on the hills. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On the mountains. On the mountains, yeah. On the mountains, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that storm is coming because of uh, the clouds are a little uh, dark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else have anything you would add to that? Teacher, can I talk? Yes, you can. Mm. There's a, uh, uh, there's uh, an intersection of two rivers. Oh, yeah. Right here and right over here. 
uh, and uh, and uh, some 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 clouds mm -hmm. yeah. are floating in the sky. <laughs> yes. Good. Floating in the sky. Yeah. Mm. And uh, uh, four people are riding on their horses. Mm -hmm. They are looking for something in the in the grass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we they are looking for something. And uh, I put the link up so you guys can also read the caption. So apparently this is in Patagonia, which is in Chile. And beautiful mountains and, yeah, like a lake or something. And apparently these guys are uh, cowboys. We call them in English cowboys. And they're looking for cattle. Cattle are the cows that they take care of, livestock. And um, so, yeah, it's a beautiful picture, and that's their job. They're just kind of, it says pausing. They're just kind of, uh, you know, in a moment there where they're all stopped, looking around, looking for the cattle. But uh, pretty amazing. It looks like they're pretty high up, too. Like, it looks like beyond that yeah. last guy. I have yeah. a question. Show him. Go ahead. What is cattle? Cattle. 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 Cows. Oh, 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 yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Uh -huh. my, so, my, my band memory for the <laughs> vocabulary. Cattle, yeah, cattle refers to the cows that you we would eat for meat, and they could be male or female, uh, usually uh, male, which we call steer, and um, so they're, they're out there, that's their job. They round up, we say round up the cattle, they kind of take them from one place to another, and so they're just kind of taking a break. It looks like it looks like one of the guys having a cigarette, smoking a cigarette, and just looking at the beautiful view. It's amazing. Okay, next one. Oh, let's go to something else that has more action. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Hamid, what's going on? Uh, that is it. Uh, like uh, in the middle of a uh, lake. No way. Here, I went to this other one. Sorry? I went to the next one. I skipped the tree. Okay. I went to the lady. Do you see it? Not yet. Okay. Look, up, look my screen. Okay, okay. I can see. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this photo, uh, photos uh, taken time is wonderful because uh, the lady uh, holds uh, two fish, uh, fish mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, her fingers. And uh, this uh, fish eyes looks <laughs> like the lady's eye. Uh -huh. But uh, interesting thing, the uh, fish eyes are different colors. I mean, one is uh, like brownish, and other is uh, like uh, black. Mm -hmm. Also, this lady uh, wears a national uh, costume for uh, uh, her country. <laughs> Looks like a, some kind of celebration. Maybe, uh, and it can be related to a fish uh, festival. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Also, there are some uh, interesting uh, things on the fishes. I mean, uh, like a hat, uh, some and uh, some uh, accessories. Uh, on the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all. Uh, at also, uh, the lady has uh, some uh, accessories like a bracelet. Uh, yes, bracelet and a necklace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, uh, her uh, teeth uh, are white. <laughs> yes, her teeth are white. Uh, Patricia said she thinks uh, they're just married. It looks like they're getting married, the fish, and now they're kissing. <laughs> mm, yes, maybe it can be. So, uh, uh, that is a, a French kiss uh, between. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about a French kiss. Baby so, uh, so uh, according to this information, uh, this lady can be like a pop. I mean, uh, the oh, lady can like direct the uh, wedding ceremony. <laughs> like a minister, yeah. Yes, like a minister, uh, will you be together at this uh, good time and bad time? Yeah. 
Okay. Like a wedding ceremony. But uh, so uh, she's smiling. Maybe the uh, wedding is over. So they will go to their home into the sea. <laughs> he can kiss the bride. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, this is a traditional Bengali wedding ceremony in which the bride and groom are presented with fish dressed as the couple. <laughs> so that's funny. All right, does anybody else want to say anything else about this picture? Uh, a wedding tradition where the bride and the groom, they get fish that are dressed up kind of like a bride and a groom. Yeah. <laughs> you were right. Uh, can be yummy because uh, they look like uh, uh, their weights can be high. Yeah. Know, yeah. They can kick the fish now. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's see what this next one is. All right. Okay. Fernando. Hi there. Welcome. Uh, Fernando, how would you describe this picture here with these guys? What are they doing? Where are they? What are they okay. dressed up like? <laughs> they, they look like a family. Okay. Okay, with maybe a big family. Maybe a family. Yes, I can see the uh, two grandmothers and. Wait, 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 wait! What picture are you looking at? <laughs> are you looking at the picture that I'm showing in my screen? Yeah. Where's the grandmother? <laughs> You mean a, maybe a grandfather, this guy here? Are you looking at the one with the, the band? This is a, a band. Maybe it's a different picture. Yeah, which picture are you looking at? Oh, now I can see the other picture. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> there is a group, a band? A band, it's a yeah. Joke. It's a good a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. They are, they are jogging over the grass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're, they're walking they're, into the grass. They're looking for uh, some frogs. <laughs> the French band, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else, Fernando? What are they wearing? They're wearing a uniform. Yeah, some kind of uniform. Yeah, uh, and they have. They have uh, the uh, instruments. Yeah. Good. Uh, there are like six persons there. Yeah. Yeah, a couple and more the, here. You can't see very well. They are they are walking <laughs> to the to maybe a small village or a town. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Do you yeah. know? Do you know what this instrument is called here? It's probably the same in Spanish, I think. Tuba? Uh, tuba. Tuba, yeah, it's the same in Spanish. Tuba. And do you know what this one is called here that this guy has, this black instrument? Clarinet. Clarinet, yeah. And yeah. The, that guy has a drum. The drums and uh, the saxophone. And the saxophone, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what where they are. These guys are in Italy, uh, they, actually. It's it's a cloudy day. Cloudy day, yeah. It does look like it might rain or something. Yeah. Lejek, Lejek, you uh, you guessed French. They're they're Italian. <laughs> they're they are from Italy. Really? Yeah. Oh. Good to know. In fact, uh, it says musicians relax after a day-long photo shoot near the town of Renato in Emilia-Romagna, Italy. So I guess they were having their pictures taken out in the field, and so now they're uh -huh. kind of done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Asma, let's find a picture for you. Let's see here. What about the, the news here? I go to some different places for pictures. So let's see what the BBC has. They always do a day, day in pictures. Okay, Asma, what's going on in this picture here? Asma, your microphone is muted. 
yeah. Uh, so I think um, the picture um, uh, was taken from um, Ukraine, maybe. Possibly. Uh, some protest um, manifestations, maybe. Mm -hmm. A protest or something? Yeah, but I think it's war there because there are some war there. Mm. Uh, there are uh, what broken uh, mirror, maybe the mirror of a bus or uh, mm -hmm. the front of the bus. Yeah, we would call that a, a windshield. Mm -hmm. Windshield, okay. like a broken windshield, maybe. Mm -hmm. And there are a uh, lady and a uh, guy looking at this, what do you say, wind? Wind, windshield, I wrote it in the chat, if your chat's working, windshield. Okay, uh, and behind of this, uh, of uh, the lady and the man, there are so many uh, protestants mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, waiting for something, I don't know what it is. <laughs> we don't really know. Yes. Yeah. We don't yeah. Really know what they are. Yeah. But uh, what is the perspective of the camera? Who took the picture? Like the photographer? Where is the photographer? Mm, inside the bus, maybe. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Looking, looking outside from the bus through the broken yeah. windshield. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's after air track. Maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the caption he, the caption says that the windshield of a trolley bus hit by deadly shell fire in the Ukrainian city of Donetsk. Ukraine's military says its forces have withdrawn from the main part of Donetsk. Okay, blah blah blah. All right, so yeah, that's right. You guessed the right country. Very good. <laughs> You're very up to date with the news. <laughs> to know, yeah. Probably, uh, maybe the cold weather uh, looks like it's cold there because they're wearing hats, scarves. Uh, we call these uh, winter coats, you know, coats that are uh, kind of uh, fluffy, not fluffy, but puffy, and uh, they look warm. So they need warm clothing. Okay. All right. That's a little baby something. Tiger. Siberian tiger. All right. Let's see here. Arina, what do you think is happening here? What would you describe, or how would you describe this? I think there's some kind of celebration taking place. Maybe it's national holiday, maybe it's uh, a wedding, or... Well, it doesn't look like a wedding, I think. It's hard to know. We're a bunch of guys. <laughs> well, let's assume it's just national holiday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's somewhere, uh, I think, in the Middle East. Okay. Um, why? Why would you guess the Middle East? Uh, by the way, the dress. The dress. Uh, well, I don't know if it's in India. I'm trying to. And maybe not. Uh, the way the hats uh, uh -huh, the special they hats. wear and um, um, uh, men wear white uh, robe, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, some special oh, dress, yeah. yeah. And, well, I don't know if uh, uh, I was assuming it's a celebration, but now by looking at their faces, their faces are so intense. Yeah, so yeah especially maybe, the guy in the middle there. Maybe it's not a celebration, maybe it's some kind of debate, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And man on the what? front, he's, um, his hand is up in the air and mm -hmm. he made fist, yeah. a fist? A fit, yeah, he's making yeah, a fist, yes. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he wants to say something or he is about to say something, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Some kind of statements or speech. 
speech, maybe. Yeah. yeah well, did so. you notice uh, these guys over here? What they're doing? That's kind of interesting. Uh, where on uh, the guy on, on the, the left? left? Okay. Yeah, on the left side. Uh, oh, the guys on oh. the right. I don't know if they're praying, maybe or or they meditating. I don't know. I was noticing that they are holding hands, like a yeah, kind of like unified about something. But their eyes are closed, so mm -hmm. I don't know if this is just how picture was taken or... Yeah, right, the, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says um, Nepali, so... Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, they're in the parliament, uh, mm -hmm. and they brought the parliament to a standstill, which means they, they, didn't, they weren't doing any business there mm -hmm. because there was protesting. Um, this was just hours before a deadline to agree on a new constitution, so apparently they were debating... Mm -hmm. uh, something and Nepal has been attempting to draft a charter since electing its first constituent. Okay, so it's a political picture, people kind of protesting, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like they even knocked over some furniture or something here in this yeah. mm -hmm. in the corner there, the right hand corner. And Lisa, I saw a video, uh, and that uh, video everybody was uh, fighting to each other. Oh, uh, to opposite party, yes. Wow. Uh, the environment uh, was more extreme in this uh, picture. Wow. Than this picture. Wow, okay. Very uh, uh, controversial, I guess. Happy yes. Fight, fighting about the new constitution. Okay, yeah. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to skip this guy. <laughs> he's he's uh, the Asian Cup, I guess. This is a, a soccer fan, football fan. Very common. All right, uh, what's going on in this picture? Uh, Zinia, what, how would you describe this picture? Kind of interesting. Hi, teacher. Hi. What can you say about this picture? What do you see here in this one? And some, some people are very angry. They are mm -hmm. against uh, the... Wait, are you looking at my screen? Oh. Uh, mm, oh. I am describing the previous picture. Oh, oh. yeah. No, let's go to this. Let's change and go to this one with the picture of Obama here. You see the one with Obama? Mm. I can see. Yeah. Just click, click on my square, my picture down there, and then it'll show you. Mm. That is oh. a written welcome to you, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> blah, blah. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to, to you. Welcome to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I like this. I like. I like this photo. It's very fun. <laughs> Mm. What is it happening in this photo here? What are these two things with the picture uh, of Obama and uh, this is, I think, the what? Is he the president of India? What's his name here? Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Yeah. Uh, uh, one guy is holding two. Two. One guy is holding two pictures. Mm hmm. Uh, one is uh, one president, the president Obama, and the other president, the India, the Indian Minister. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Prime Minister of India. Yeah. Uh, the primary minister of India. <laughs> Yeah. And what do you notice about the picture on the paper here? What kinds of stuff do they have to decorate the different guys' uh, pictures? It's like a body. Like it's their body, you know? Their pants over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Does anybody else have anything that you want to say? Uh, I don't know, but maybe I remember that uh, Obama uh, has uh, visited uh, India. So maybe that's why they make this uh, kind of um, pictures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In, in this occasion. Yeah, to welcome uh, the president. Yeah, Obama. Yeah. yeah. They maybe um, I don't know if it's made it by uh, uh, Indian people or American people, but I think Indian. Yeah, well, I just think like in the back here we see all these flags, you know, Indian flags, and this guy looks Indian. Yeah. But you, you never know; he could be in the United States too. <laughs> I think it's in India. Yeah, Mr. Obama will begin a landmark visit to India on Saturday. So uh, these are portraits, and they, he put, like pasted, cut out, and pasted the, the actual photos of their faces, but then it's like these are bodies here. And I just, did yeah. you guys notice the ties? Like this tie says Obama over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and some hearts. Yes, so hearts and American flag and an Indian flag and <laughs> it's very yes. decorated. Yeah, they are happy. So they are happy. So maybe we understand that they are not against uh, this visit. Yeah, they're welcoming and yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, and uh, Patricia. Yeah, I don't know if he's sitting down. It doesn't look like there's a chair. It's hard to see the angle. Of the picture, but he's holding up his two, uh, like kind of like puppets, paper puppets or paper uh, representations of these two. I think it's funny the legs to these uh, gold legs. <laughs> okay, that's funny picture. All right. Oh, what is going on here? So Salvatore, what's uh, happened here with these guys? What's how would you describe this picture? Uh, Obama. Oh, okay. Yeah, we skipped Obama now, and we left India. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see uh, f uh, four uh, guys. Uh, I think uh, maybe the, this picture is uh, uh, is a uh, a picture for uh, uh, for uh, other thing uh, for. Uh, uh, Make on TV the, the maybe a show, and uh, these guys uh, uh, are uh, uh, their uh, uh, arms uh, 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 blocked. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks looks like that they arrested uh, from uh, policy, police, police, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, free of. Uh, uh, these guys, uh, uh, they don't uh, dress in the t-shirt. Yeah, they uh, are shir shirtless. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, there are and uh, all uh, all uh, four guys. Uh, they put uh, they put their arms uh, together. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, looks like that uh, they want to communication communication something, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all. Okay. Anybody have anything you want to add? Uh, in this uh, arm to arm together, uh, gives a message to me. It shows a, a good and strong uh, brothership mm. among them. Interesting. And uh, yeah. also, uh, if I think uh, West um, communicate uh, m uh, logic, they can be gay. Well, why why would they be gay? And why do they have uh, those things that they have on their hands? Those are called hand cuffs. So, okay. yes, uh, as I said, uh, they can be uh, lovers or uh, brothers to each other. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the, this is the fun part about trying to guess uh, these pictures. Uh, to me, they look like prisoners, not lovers. And the reason why is because they have handcuffs on and they're locked together. 
and they're in some country where it's hot because they're all wearing shorts and their uh, uh, quite their skin is dark. Either they're tan or they're dark skinned people. So actually, when we read the caption, we see that they are members of a gang and they are lined up. So this is what you when you line people up. Uh, criminals or people who have been arrested uh, after being arrested for threatening residents of Mexicanos, a town in El Salvador. So they actually got arrested, like you said, Salvador, and they're just lining them up and probably waiting to take them to jail. So that's what happened there. Uh, they can be in the jail, so uh, maybe they are in a punishment or penalty for some reasons. Mm -hmm. And they can be uh, a bad sample to other people's mm -hmm. for the, uh, punishment. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And they lock their arms together. The police put their arms together so they can't uh, get away. <laughs> so it would be very difficult for them to run away together uh, because they're like, tied together there. They're locked, interlocked, we could say. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Patricia, what's going on in this picture? Where do you think they are? What are they doing? Who is that guy? What's happening? Well, it seems to be a violent protest. Protest? Mm -hmm. Protest, protest um, yeah. In the background I see many photographers, journalists. Photographers, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this, the guy in the middle is wearing a kind of explosive or cocktail molotov. Mm -hmm. Like and she's, uh, he um, is covering his face with a, with a dress, with, with a... Like a uh, well, yeah, we call that with, yeah, like a bandana or something like that. Yeah, in order to hide his face. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is, it has to be a Mediterranean country because of the... Um, how do you say this kind of palm, palm tree? Uh, yeah, yeah, palm, exactly. palm tree. Mm -hmm. This is a Mediterranean country, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are a lot of people uh, yeah. behind. All the people is running over there. They are frightened, maybe, mm -hmm. because of the situations. And um, well, anything else? No. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it definitely has some kind of uh, fireworks or Malta cocktail or some kind of something that's creating all of the sparks, we could say, or the fire there. And you mentioned that the photographer's here taking pictures of this person. And definitely looks like some kind of protester wanting to hide his face. He's all black. And it's happening at night. And apparently it's actually in um, Istanbul. So, yeah, in Turkey. A man holds a firework at a protest in Istanbul against a 10-year prison sentence given to two Turkish police officers for beating to death a teenager during anti-government unrest in 2013. So, yeah. All right. Okay, let's see. I had this one. Let's see. Finding another one here for this. <laughs> All right. Some pictures are they have you have more to talk about than other pictures. So let me see this uh, picture there. Oh, that's a snow picture. Whoops. Lots of snow. Oh, why is it doing that? I can go back. Okay. All right, Legic, let's see. We have to find another picture for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah? I don't see. I know, Sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find one. <laughs> i got to go to the next day here. That was uh, yesterday. So they have another one. My computer had, just slowed down. Yeah, Legic? I had... Uh, oh, my gosh. BBC News? In pictures? Yeah, it's my yeah, computer. It's my, <laughs> my computer's slow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go to this one here. All right. 
Here's some more BBC photos. Okay, Lesic, do you know what happened here recently in the United States? And what this picture is of? No. Okay, well, what do you see in the picture here? <laughs> and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> How would you describe this picture? Lisa, I yeah. can't see picture, really. Oh, in my screen? You yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty I just Obama see now. BBC News in pictures. Nothing more. Now oh. there is Obama. Yeah, now it's Obama. Mr. Obama. Oh, it's slow. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and who else? What else is going on there? I don't know. Maybe it's uh, after uh, speech? Yes. Yeah? Yes, he gave what we call uh, the State of the Union Address. That's what um, each year the president comes and he talks in front of uh, the Congress and people. Yeah. Congress. Different, mm -hmm. yeah and. Um, uh, the nation, say, yeah? Yes, and in front of the nation. Um, for election, yeah? No, it's not for the election. It's just to tell you, like, what's going on in the United States. So the State of the Union means, like, how are we doing? What are the things oh, that are happening? Yeah. And so he talks about, you know, the, the most... The what? Yeah. The middle class. The middle class? Well, he talked about a lot of things. <laughs> but, the economy. Yeah, the economy, health care. Yeah. The speech is only for... for uh, Give him some reasons to. Uh, okay, guys, give him my money for this, for this, for this. Yeah? <laughs> well, actually, he cannot be president again, so he is not going to need any more money in that way for election. So, yeah, yeah the state of being is just to talk about our country, and what's happening, and what are the things that we need to work on, and things like that. So, the economy, healthcare, jobs. Uh, things like that. So you see these guys, Obama, he's giving the thumbs up, we call that the thumbs up. And, you know, they're all wearing these suits. And basically, that's the picture. It's just a close up of Obama and all these people around him are different uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. But mainly, he's he's giving the thumbs up. So that's kind of the, the picture there, why, why they put that picture there. So. Yeah, in fact, you know, he's not worried about elections anymore, so it's going to be a new president in uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, there's not a lot to describe other than there's a photographer there, a bunch of guys in suits, has his little uh, pin here, which is the United States flag. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Uh, Let's why don't you, uh, well, we only have four minutes left. Let's go Hamid quickly. Describe what you see there. Okay, uh, there are some uh, government people. Uh, I think that guy uh, can be from China or others. Like uh, looks Asian. like this country. Asian country. Uh huh. Yes, Asian country. And there are some <laughs> ladies, and uh, they are uh, celebrating uh, to come this person. And there are some other uh, sweet uh, wearing people. Uh, behind the, this person. Yeah. So that is it. <laughs> Patricia got it right, actually. <laughs> How did you know, Patricia? Did you read it, or did you uh, did you recognize that person, Patricia? Yes, yes, I recognize him. He's a very famous person here in Spain. Oh they wow! Call, yeah. He's very rich. Uh huh. Wow, okay, so he's a businessman and he he's the owner? Uh, well, he's not he the owner. He has 20% stake, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. Part one of the owners, all right. Okay, and he's a Chinese businessman, okay, and he's interested in uh, Spanish uh, soccer teams. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, I wouldn't have recognized him. Asma, what's happening here? You get all the protests <laughs> pictures. Where where are they? Who are they? What are they doing? Uh, maybe in uh, Nigeria. Nigeria, okay, perhaps. Yeah. I don't know, but in African country. In African country, okay. And what did they do? What is that happening in the street there? 
Uh, the protest. Also. <laughs> yeah, it's a protest. But what did they what did they make here in the middle of the street? Fire. Yeah, they started a fire. Yeah. Uh, okay, but uh, but to which country? Uh, look at Congo. Congo. Uh, Congo. Uh, okay. The Roman Catholic Church has shut its schools in the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital, Kinshasa, as protests against President Joseph Kabila continue. So they're protesting against the president. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Everywhere there are some protests. Yes. <laughs> Lots of protests going on in the world these days. Yeah. So, yeah. I just say a bunch of young guys, mostly young guys, look like maybe school age teenagers. They have their backpacks on. Yeah, but uh, I don't know in front. Uh, maybe in front the um, some import some official official area or building mm. government building because they are from they protest from some area, but they cannot get which area. Mm, get close to it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, like the African uh, people, means uh, you cannot guess if uh, they are angry or no, because uh, it's like they are dancing. <laughs> yeah, the picture looks like they're celebrating, too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, sometimes it's the same celebration or uh, yeah, protest, yeah. dancing. Things like yeah. that. All right, let me, I want to give Arena a little bit more just to finish up here. Arena, what would you just? How would you describe this picture? Okay. Oh, okay. It's in Canada. Well, um, maybe it's not, but I oh, see the flag. Yeah, there's I the flag. See the Canadian flag, and uh, a lady takes her selfie. Uh, with uh, <laughs> some kind of animal, uh, koala, koala, koala bear, yeah, koala, yeah. And um, there's, uh, yeah, and there's uh, another guy taking a photo of something, and there's guy in the back uh, holding camera up in the air, so. Uh, let's see what's going on there. Yeah, oh. I think that's right. Is she like some kind of famous person? Apparently, she's a oh, tennis yeah. player. Yeah, she's okay. an ath mm -hmm. athlete. Yeah, and she just won a tournament, a big tournament mm -hmm. in okay. Australia. So she's, you guessed it right, she's Canadian. There's the flag there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say much more. She's taking a selfie. That's right. She has her little koala, which represents uh, Australia, where mm. she was playing the tournament. And she has a visor on, so a lot of tennis players wear this kind of hat. It's called a visor. Mm. And she's got, like, a tank top on. And you can see she's an athlete because she's got muscles. <laughs> so yeah. she, her arm is pretty muscular there. And, yeah, some other photographers taking her picture as well. Okay, guys. Well, um, we are out of time, and I have an, a, another speaking class where we're going to talk about artificial intelligence in the next hour, which I'm already late for, so I need to go there. So thanks, guys, for coming and uh, practicing, looking at these interesting pictures, and a lot. We, we Maybe sometimes we're not right, but guessing is fun, too, because you never know what's actually happening in the picture. So thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, everybody. Bye.